too. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy KO. <sighs> we out here in the Florida Keys, man. Your boy ain't never been out here. But I know y'all gonna hear probably the car is riding by, but it's all good. If anything, if it's too loud, we'll edit it out. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and give y'all this review video on showing. It's supposed to be a 90 day review video, man, but. Hey, y'all know, man. Your boy been working. You feel me? So it's a 120 day video. So, but let's get into it. First off, orientation. Y'all seen the orientation videos, but I'm putting it all in the same videos because people, you know, people don't watch. They and they gonna ask me questions. So it, it's gonna be right here. You feel me? Oh, also, if anybody need to contact me, my YouTube, um, email. Um, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is always in the link. I mean, the links for all that is in the description of every video. That's how you contact me. Like, people ask me that all the time. How can they get in touch with me? That's the easiest. Instagram, TikTok, email, whatever. I respond. I'm not, I'm not one of them. I respond. Trust me. I, I do. People can vouch for that. Anyway, y'all, orientation is two weeks. If you don't have experience, if you have experience, I think it's only three days. Um, but if y'all want more info, I'm not going to get into full details of orientation. I already went over that. If y'all want the full details of that, I do have three orientation videos of the whole orientation process every single day of it. And I came here with no experience. So if you experience, it'll be different for you. It's only like three days, I believe. If you inexperienced like how I was, it's two weeks. Not full two weeks, basically like one week and then a couple days the next week maybe so maybe i say like eight days in total something i don't like about the equipment that they give you they give you equipment when you're in orientation for me i came with my own truck so you can lease a truck here or you can come with your own equipment i came with my own truck but i did not have a headache rack so i got a headache rack from them a headache rack and I got all the tarps, bungees, all that stuff. So I got all of that when I came. So, of course, it cost me more money to do it like that. Uh, if you come with your own equipment, that's something you ain't got to worry about. Um, they charge $150 a week until that equipment is paid off. Keep that in mind. So don't think you're going to come here and it's just, they're going to get to you for free. It ain't going to happen. So... But the thing I do wish is they give you eight foot drop tarps. Apparently they used to give six foot drop tarps. Now they only give you eight foot drop tarps. Y'all already know those tarps are heavy as hell. Um, so it would be nice if they gave us, especially since we got to pay for it. It would be nice if they gave us a variety of tarps. Give us two eight foot drop tarps. Give us two six foot. Give us two four foot. Like, or give us the option. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't even do lumber. So now you got these big ass tarps and you don't even do lumber loads. So you got these tarps for no reason. You see what I'm saying? So it, it really depends on the person and what they tend to haul. Because if they don't do lumber, then they just wasting their time. So that's how I see it, to be honest. So I feel like they should have a variety when it comes to tarps. Because it's not like we're getting it for free anyway. We're paying for it. So if we want to pay for those kind of tarps, Hey, it's on us. So say for instance, a driver wanna, he only want four foot drop tarps or he only want six foot drop tarps and y'all have offer him a load, but he need eight foot drop tarps and he ain't got them. Hey, that's on him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not on y'all, that's on him. Y'all gonna get the load covered. You know what I'm saying? You got more than enough drivers. So but I feel like we should get more equipment as far as like, like bungees and stuff like that. Stuff, I, we paying for it. So I feel like, me personally, I feel like there should be more equipment that we get because there's a lot of stuff that we don't have that I feel like we we need out here so but next thing uh, the securement class this all goes back to orientation but um, securement class it's decent but it don't teach you enough for the real world to be honest I didn't learn how to tarp so my first load was a tarp load so of course I got there they had a tarp machine shit I ain't know how to use it to be honest I had to ask the dude there how to use the tarp machine and then I had to um, use the tarp machine for the first time and then watch YouTube videos and stuff like that to figure out how to like tarp and make it look good you know what I'm saying because I had never done it before I've done flatbed before I did it locally but we only pulled lumber so I never tarped the load so 
and I never used a tarp machine either. So that in that as in that aspect, I feel like that's something we should learn offhand. Is they should have a tarping area. Teach us how to tarp. Teach us how to fold tarps because we didn't. We did that once, and that was as a class. So you know what I'm saying. I feel like each individual student should have to tarp a load and untarp it and roll the tarp up. That should be part of the securement class. So at least you know that that student knows what he's doing when he goes out there. You know what I'm saying? And the tarps ain't looking a mess. Cause y'all, I know y'all have seen some of these tarps, man. Shit be flapping in the wind all down. We all have seen it. So, but that's if you ain't getting no, if you're not getting taught, then hey, you, you get what you know. It is what it is. So, I feel like that can be a lot better. Is the securement training? They said they working on it. So, hey, I, all I can do is hold them to that. But for me, I wish it was a little bit better. Let's get into a positive. The fuel discount here. A1, Chef's Kiss, for sure. They got a great fuel discount here. I give them that for sure. A lot of places that I've gone, I've gotten over a dollar. I've told you, I've gotten over a dollar a mile. I've gotten 90, 80. When I worked at Snyder, the highest I got was 50 cent off the point price. So coming from that to this, man, it makes a world of difference, especially when you're getting those great discounts a lot of places. Hey, it makes a world of difference, man. Trust me. Especially from a person I get fuel a lot. And they get fuel, you get fuel everywhere. Um, not just you're not entitled to just go to flying J. You can get you can get fuel here from love. You can you can get it here. So it's all in uh, preference. Uh, as far as the money I've made here, I know a lot of people want to know how much money, because I stopped really giving numbers. The money was great when I first started. To be honest, it was consistently, it was consistently at like 2,500 was my take home. Consistently. I was doing about four or five loads, really I was doing about five loads a week, and five loads a week, and I was off every weekend. They Flatbed, that's what I like about flatbed too. They off every single weekend. So you ain't working weekends. So that's the plus side. You might have to drive on the weekend to get to where you're going. But normally, if you run your clock right, you will be off on the weekend and you can do your 34 on the weekend and you'll be good for the week. At least for me, that's how it's been. So that is definitely a plus that I see. Um, but the money did drop a little bit, you know? Um, Y'all already know, I, I switch uh, DMs, driver managers. Uh, I did switch DMs. This is my second week with my new driver. Well, sorry, it's been like two and a half weeks. But she started in the middle of a week, so I ain't really count that week. Uh, but my first week with her has been great. Uh, my other manager, I don't know what happened. Like, at first, everything was consistent. And then it's like, I went on vacation, I came back, and it's like, everything changed. Like... And I'm big on communication because obviously your dispatcher and them, they want you to communicate, but they don't reciprocate it. I hate that because if I'm being transparent with you, why can't you do that with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't tell me you're going to call me and you don't call. Or don't tell me you're looking for a low and then I'll hear from you to the next day. Like, that type of stuff, it goes a long way. All you got to do is say, hey update you know every couple hours or something hey update um i haven't found any loads uh in blah 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 area i'll, I'll give you another update in a couple hours okay cool or hey it look like we just gonna have to sit this one out today i'm gonna definitely try to get you something tomorrow or head in this you know tell me something don't leave me just hanging you know what i'm saying like that type of stuff i hate so communication man communication is key for me that's what i feel like goes a long way and it was it started like that and then it fell off so that's why once i got a 250 dollars check it was for me it was like this ain't gonna work so that's why i ended up switching so but that's that and if you wonder why i got my phone in my hand i got all my notes i, I ain't want to miss nothing so trust me bear with me um we talked about the dm so all right y'all so we back sorry about that my freaking memory went low so um i had like four minutes so let's jump back into it though i went over the dm um how much money I've made since I've been here? I think I've grossed, I've been here for 120 days. Actually, I'm gonna get y'all, hold that thought. I'm gonna get y'all the actual number. Uh, I just got paid, well I get paid tomorrow. So I'm gonna give y'all my gross number of exactly how much money I've made since I've been here. 
No, y'all my people, man. So y'all look at you know, like give y'all these numbers, man. But I want y'all to see for real. Um, let's pick on my paycheck from yesterday. It tells me at the bottom. So I've grossed thirty-six thousand dollars. Wait, is that my gross? I don't know if that's my gross. I don't think that's my gross. I think that's how much I've taken home. Thirty-six thousand, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I think thirty-six. That's not my gross. That can't be gross. <laughs> Ain't no way. Cause I've had like five thousand dollar weeks. Yeah. So thirty-six thousand. Yeah. Ain't no way. Uh, so thirty-six is my net that I have made in the hundred and twenty days that I have been here. Um, mind you, I did take off. I did take off. I got bugs out here, man. I did take off um, a week. I went to DR, um, and then I've taken off a couple of days here and there. Uh, so keep that in mind. These are not like full weeks every week. So not bad. And then my BS week that I had that one week. So there's that as well. But that's not bad. Thirty-six thousand take home. I I can rock with it. Um, next thing is. The cameras in the trucks. That's a big one. Well, it's not really for me. I don't really care. My camera didn't work for the for the longest. Um, that thing works when it want to work. Um, so that is it is what it is for me. Uh, as far as the cameras though, I know a lot of people don't like that. As far as I know, Prime and all of them start they start getting those cameras and stuff. And as far as like privacy, I feel like you know a lot of people don't like that. I personally don't really care about the camera so much. I don't really do nothing. So, besides, if you know you got to pee in the bottle, you can't do that because this camera is you know, right there. That's the only issue I hate. But now I got to stop more than I need to stop because this damn camera is right here in my face. So, besides that, I don't really care about the camera. Um, they called me one time about the camera since I've been here, um, and it was because I took my seatbelt off, but I was at a shipper, so it's not like I was just driving down the road cruising with my seatbelt off. No. I took it off because I was at a shipper, and I was, literally, I was creeping around the shipper trying to pick up my load. So, hey, it is what it is. To me, it wasn't no big deal, so, uh, but there's that so keep that in mind if you do decide to come to Shelton they do have cameras I don't know if that's all PNS companies I, I personally I don't know um, but at Shelton that is a thing and for the people that don't know Shelton is part of the PNS umbrella so there's that so I get people that ask me would that would they have a camera if they go somewhere else personally I don't know I don't know if that is if you want to if you work at one of the other PNS companies you can comment below and let people know because I personally don't know I can't answer that for y'all um, let's see regional lanes if you like to be regional man you like to be home a lot showing that I feel like is good for regional for sure because they got the regional freight to keep you in the southeast that's mainly what they run the southeast um, and that's mainly what I ran in the beginning was the southeast and I was making consistently five thousand dollars a week gross so or over so I know for sure they have those lanes and they have that freight if you like to run and be home and you can be home on the weekend so hey they got that regional lanes for you I cover home on the weekends you can be home I mean, I don't be home. Well, I've, I've been home pretty much every weekend. I've had some weekends where I've been out, not by choice, a couple weekends. But all the other ones, I've pretty much been home. Um, even like last weekend, they went out of their way to have me switch uh, loads with a driver to get me home. So, hey, shout out to them for that. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So, they tell you they're going to get you home, they're going to get you home. So, I give them that. Something I don't like, this ain't this ain't got nothing to do with Shelton in particular. I feel like this is just flatbed probably in general. Deadhead. You got a deadhead a lot in flatbed, bro. I came from drive-in. Y'all already know it. Drive-in, you used to have the deadhead a little bit, but it was mainly like 100, 150 miles, you know. Every now and then you get lucky, you get something that's like 20, 30 miles, you might get something down the road. Cause there's way more warehouses. First, 
this flatbed. Most things is like three hour deadhead, four hour deadhead. It's like, huh? So that, them deadhead miles add up over the week. And you damn near do a whole nother load just in deadhead miles. So that's the that's the downside I see in flatbed. But that has nothing to do with Shelton in particular. I'm pretty sure that's probably all flatbed companies. If not, let your boy know. Uh, but at least that's been my experience since I've started flatbed. You do a lot of deadhead. And I have got some short deadheads like last week. I went, what, 20 miles, 25 miles, something like that. So I've had short ones, but the majority, they've been far. So there's that. Another plus that I like about flatbed is you don't work weekends and everything is bank hours. So, I mean, that that's a plus and a negative at the same time. Because you, if you're a night driver, I'm not really a night driver, but I know people that are. If you're a night driver, flatbed ain't really the best for you because by the time you park in the morning, you probably park at your delivery, deliver it, then you still gotta finish your 10. And then by the time you get your 10, you try to go pick up something, they probably already closed. Because most flatbed stuff is not open late. There is some. I'm not going to say they all close early. There is some. But most of them, they close early. So you got to keep that in mind when you doing flatbed. So it is what it is. It's a plus, though. If you a daytime driver, you do your delivery first thing that morning. You go pick up. Go take you a shower. Drive, park, chill the rest of the day. Hey, it works. But... It depends on the type of driver you is. Me, personally, I'm an early morning person, so it works for me. So, But some people don't like, you know, some people not early morning people, so it just depends on the person. Sign-on bonus. People ask me about sign-on bonus. <clears throat> Shelton does not give a sign-on bonus. Unless that changed since I made this video, to my knowledge, they do not give a sign-on bonus. SEL. DMT. I don't know about the other companies. But they are all part of PNS as well. They give sign on bonuses. I don't know why Shelton don't. Maybe Shelton watching this. Y'all can explain why we don't get a sign on bonus here. I don't know. So, but we do not get a sign on bonus here. It would have been great because I know a DMT and SEL is $5,000. Hey, get a $5,000 sign on bonus. Hey, hey. A lot of people will be rocking with Shelton if they was getting a signing bonus, sign on bonus for sure. So that might be something Shelton want to look into. Who knows? Maybe I can bring it up to them. They not gonna listen to me, but I, I can bring it up. But I know when I went to Snyder, I got an eight thousand dollars sign on bonus when I started at Snyder. F two F, I didn't get one. So, but Snyder did give me. Uh, it was it was paid out over months. You didn't get all the money up front, nothing like that. I think like every three months or something, every two months, you was paid uh, a portion of it. So that's pretty much how that went. So all right, we, we switching scenes again, man. But it's starting to get dark out there. So uh, y'all already know time about to change. So it's getting dark early. So a lot of people ask me. I get asked this question probably the most. Why did I come to Shelton? Here's how this went. Here's how Shelton came about. Y'all know I have my own truck. I'm my own operator. So, um, a lot of the companies, Melon, freaking TMC, all those other companies, a lot of those companies, they want you to lease a truck to them, right? I have my own truck. So, obviously, leasing, I mean, I wouldn't mind leasing depending on the truck and depending on the terms. And I could just either let my brother drive my truck or I could let my truck sit and just continue to pay it off, whatever the case may be. So it's not that I'm against that. I'm not. But for me, I'm like, man, I got my own truck. Let me just see what companies come about. So I went on Indeed one day and Shelton popped up on Indeed. So I had never heard of Shelton, to be honest. I keep it a whole buck with you. I've seen PNS, but I had never heard of Shelton. So, and I didn't even know PNS, I mean, Shelton was part of PNS at the time. So I looked and I seen it, and I was like, oh, okay. It said that you regional home every weekend. That was, that was a little post. And I was like, okay, shit, that sounds sweet. So I asked one of my boys, I'm like, yo, you ever heard of Shelton? He's like, yeah, I used to work there back in the day. So, of course, I got a little insight from him. Cool. Y'all know my boy Steven Love. He works at Boyd. 
So of course, you know, I'm asking him questions. Hey, what about this, 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 that, third? Cool, so he gave me information about Boyd. A lot of people ask me, Landstar, Mercer, I know, I know, I know, I know. Landstar, we all know the process takes forever. Then I gotta get my hazmat again because I don't have my hazmat. So I was like, to go through all that and then you gotta go do the, um, the securement class and you gotta wait for a trailer and all that. I, I just heard it could take a long time to get all that. So instead of waiting, I was like, I'm just gonna go somewhere where I can just start, you know? So it was between, it came down to where it was between Boyd and uh, Shelton. If I would have went with a lease company or if I would have just went company, I would have probably, nine times out of 10, I probably went to like ATS. That's honestly, if I went company, I would have probably went to ATS, to be honest, because ATS does it all. They do flatbed, step deck, heavy haul, oversize, they do it all. So me personally, I probably would have went to ATS to get that experience because they do everything. I know it takes time to level up and all that. Shout out to 210 Truck and I watch him and I see that, um, the different levels and stuff you have to go through. But that's why I got into flatbed because I want to learn all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just do flatbed. Like I want to learn all the stages of flatbed. So me personally. So, but as far as leasing on with my truck, it was between Shelton and Boyd. When I applied, I was like, man, we just gonna see, see who, who we talk to first. Shelton is who I heard from first. She called, I didn't answer. I think I was at a pickup. I was at F2F still. She called, I was at a pickup. She emailed me, she emailed me the information. Cool, so I had the information on Shelton. I didn't call back directly. I read through the information, I was like, okay, cool. I keep that in mind. So I was like, we're gonna see what happens with Boyd. I didn't hear from Boyd. So I chose to come to Shelton. Now I heard from Boyd a couple weeks back. The reason, and this may be different now, I don't know, but at the time when this whole, when I was looking, Boyd did not hire from Tampa. I stay in Tampa. My license is in Tampa. So she said, when I talked to the recruiter, she said the reason why I never got a call was because they don't hire below Jacksonville. Obviously, Tampa, if you don't know, Tampa's below Jacksonville. So I wasn't able to work at Boyd. I don't know if that's still the same. That might be the change. I don't know, personally. But at the time, they wasn't hiring. So for me, the main reason I was going to pick Boyd was they got, I could take my truck. Um, they have a load board. So I was like, you know, dang, man, I can go run off a load board. You know, I prefer to run off a load board versus depending on somebody else to run me because they may not run me how I know I run myself. So that's what I looked at as well. Also, you could be a trainer at Boyd. If y'all know me, I was a trainer at Prime for four years. I personally like training. I know a lot of people like, man, I don't like training to have somebody in my truck. I, that don't bother me, man. I like training. Uh, I always did. That's why I did it at Prime for so long. I trained like 12 plus drivers at Prime or something like that. I don't even remember. But I trained a lot of people at Prime. So I, I enjoy training. Plus you get an extra pay for it. Two birds, one stone. Hey. So I'm like, okay, cool. I can come with my own truck, be a trainer, and they pay you more because you're a trainer and they pay you more um because you got your own truck so over here at shelton they pay 68 percent over there you can get up to i think 75 or 80 percent at boys so that's why i was like man you can get 75 percent here you can get an extra seven percent if you lease a trailer at shelton though so you can't get up to 75 percent but you have to lease a trailer that trailer can ain't that trailer can range anywhere from two hundred dollars to two i've heard people say they they trailer like three hundred dollars three hundred something dollars so i guess it depends on like how new or whatever the trailer got the specs on the trailer i don't know it just it, it varies so keep that in mind you can't make 75 percent here as well but you have to pay that trailer fee so keep that in mind um but that was the main things that made me want to go to boy because i was like yeah I could, I could do all that cool you know for me and they they train for 10 days so i'm like okay i train a person for 10 days and i'll just go home come back train another person for 10 days and go home like i'm cool i would have just ran like that because when i was at prime i used to run at home i mean i train a student 
maybe I'll go home while I have that student because training there was like a couple months. Um, and then I'll go home after I finished them for like a whole week. So, you know, it 10 days is nothing. I used to train people for months. So I was like, yo, 10 days, that's easy. But I was like, I couldn't go there. So I was like, we're gonna go to Shelton. We're gonna thug it out. We're gonna see what's rocking with Shelton. My boy had nothing but good things to say about Shelton. So I was like, hey, what's the worst that could happen? And Shelton was a company that would take you with no experience. Uh, some of the other lease operated companies like Blair and all them, which Blair is under PNS as well, but you gotta have experience. I don't have that. F2F has flatbed as well. I ain't gotta know it. I didn't have any experience. So that's why when I was at F2F, I didn't just switch to flatbed. I couldn't because I didn't have no experience. Uh, so there's other places out there, but you need the experience so i like we're gonna go to show we're gonna thug it out we're gonna see how it goes so that's what led me here um but that is the companies that i was all on the fence about when i was going through this whole process i think my last thing i got is the straps <sighs> the straps here so straps on the trailer should i say I feel like part of the securement class, I know with TMC and some of these other companies, they teach they, uh, drivers to just take the straps completely off and use them as needed. I feel like that's something they should do here as well. My personal opinion, I know some people like to keep the straps on. The problem with that is when you do dropping hooks here, you get to these places and you pick up trailers and they ain't got no straps on them. Now, if you had your own straps, it wouldn't matter if the trailer had straps because you just take your straps out. You know what I'm saying? You don't need straps. You got your own. So, you get to these places. It's supposed to be a driving hook. They ain't got no straps. So, now you got to take the straps off another trailer. You got to take all your dunnage off that trailer. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's a dropping hook supposed to be a quick process it now turns into a long process because especially depending on where they let you park these trailers luckily like when i dealt with this yesterday my trailers were near each other so i didn't have a super long walk it happened one other time where my trailer my loaded trailer was clean across the parking lot and i had to freaking roll i had to unravel the whole strap off the thing then roll it up so I can just take them over to where my, <laughs> it took forever, man. So I feel like that's something they should have have here is where we take the straps off the trailer. That's just me. I mean, some people may think that that's a lot more work, but I just feel like, I can't even say that it's other Shelton drivers because with us leaving the straps on the trailer, anybody that needs straps can just come take the straps off the freaking trailer it could be any company they can just come tell oh they got straps on their trailer cool i need a couple these are new let me go ahead and take these you know what i'm saying like that trailer yesterday i picked up had 11 missing straps i had to take them all off the next off the trailer i had brought in which sucks because the next driver gonna have to do the same thing so you know what i'm saying like it just it just sucks we had the straps it would be a lot easier in my opinion dropping hooks also i hate dropping hooks to be honest uh, it ain't like a drive-in dropping hook where you go in drop a trailer go pick up to your next trailer hook up and you leave no here well i can't even say here but flatbed in general if you gotta deal with them straps that's a headache you got your dunnage underneath you gotta take that off put it under or if your trailers are nowhere near each other then you got to put it on the catwalk of your truck move it to whatever at least for me some people got it made because they have that long catwalk my truck is not stretched it's stock wheelbase i guess um or original i don't know i don't know how they term for it but my wheelbase isn't that wide so i don't have all that extra room so it's it's more work for me <laughs> should i say versus if i had like a truck with a longer wheelbase right there then yeah i would have space put all that stuff there and just move it easy peasy so maybe that's just a me thing but hey that's just how i see it but um other than that man if i had to rate shelton i'd probably give them like a eight out of ten they got some things uh, 
I said 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. They got some things they could work on that could be better. Um, like I've mentioned in the video, they got things they could work on, but no company is perfect. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, no company is perfect. Um, long as they're working to better the company and work in the right direction, hey, it's a plus. So that's that that's what i would give them for now that could change that can go up that could go down who knows we'll see what happens when if i hit my six if i hit, if i'm here for six months we'll do a six month video if i'm here for a year y'all already know we're gonna do it last thing they do not have pc well let me clarify that they do have pc but you must call to get pc it's not just on your tablet like some of the other companies it's not on there you can call i think i was told to give you like an hour i don't know if it's an hour or two hours i think it's an hour um but you have to call overnight or whatever or weekend who whenever you need it um so there's that pretty sure it's like every other place they had drivers abuse it so they took it and they made it like that because drivers don't know how to use stuff you know i feel like they should just make it to for those drivers because y'all know me i like going to the gym and I have to call in just to get y'all to turn it on and uh, I don't even want to do all that but it is what it is so PC is available but it is not on the tablet you must call in to get PC and I was told it's an hour so also another thing they do have referral bonuses um, it doesn't cap out y'all know how Snyder did your boy um, so <laughs> bonuses doesn't cap out uh, I don't know exactly what the I think I said it in my orientation video what the uh, referral bonuses is but they do have it here so hey there's that uh, I think I pretty much summed up all of everything about Shelton I don't know they do have lease also i think i mentioned that but for people they do have lease purchase or you can bring your own truck just throwing that out i'm trying to recap i'm trying to make sure i covered everything um i have stuff in my phone but i covered everything in my phone um so yeah if y'all have any other questions about shelton or any company in general that i've been at i've worked at prime i've worked at uh snyder and i worked at f2f shortly and then i've worked here so that's that's the companies i've been at so if y'all have any questions on those i can still answer them y'all can comment down below or you can email me whatever instagram tiktok however y'all feel is best for y'all but so far i do like flatbed honestly i do i wish i would have did it a long time ago um especially the physical aspect of it i love that a lot better um so i guess that's the construction guy i guess he coming to pick up something but um i appreciate y'all for watching like comment subscribe turn on my post notifications skateboard k i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace